Hi everyone, today I want to talk about uh, how I repaired this storage rack, the small compartment storage rack. Um, it consists of these small little drawers, there's five in each row and there's 12 rows, so 60 total containers. And it's a thin gauge steel with some spot welded, welded uh, places uh, separated as well as cracks in the steel frame itself and they're uh, pretty much all four corners are damaged and it's all wobbly so yeah those are the cracks on the bottom part of it too made in Denmark don't see that every day do you now uh, some old friend of mine just gave it to me. He has laying around. He didn't need it. How did he get it? I don't know. So we're gonna try and attempt it uh, to weld with my TIG welder machine. I had this for a while. I got it at a good deal. Bought it from Craigslist. It's got uh, everything you need pretty much. And that's a ground clamp that I worked on in one of my previous videos. That's a water-cooled torch, size 18, with a gas lens on it. Cool stuff. The welding machine I have is very powerful. It's a 250 amp um, AC-DC welder. 40 or 50 percent at the maximum power. Uh, now on the front panel we see the <coughs> excuse me the center knob adjust the percentage in amps of the range selector. Uh, that's the switch between AC DC straight or DC negative. That's the range selector, low, medium, or high. Those are controls to switch between TIG operation or TIG welding. We're gonna switch it to TIG operation or remote and high frequency start and um, that's our machine. We're gonna start cleaning the workpiece to be able to weld on it. This is my improvised tungsten grinder. That's the diamond disc. And we're gonna grind the tip of the tungsten. And we're gonna eyeball the angle to whatever angle that is. Yeah, that angle. It's a 1 tungsten rod and it's about a 20 degree angle. We're going to assemble the torch and set up our machine. Low range, 60%. So low range it goes up to 55 amps DC. 60% of it goes up to about 33 amps. If you calculate everything in remote, high frequency start, ready to go. Electrode negative, of course. Yeah, later on I realized it wasn't enough. 33 amp wasn't hot enough. So I raised it to about 84%, which came to be about 46 amps. That was a um, pretty good value. And it worked out nicely for the whole project. This is the 
bottom of the storage cabinet and we see it's, a se uh, it's separated. So I need to kind of secure it in place for the first uh, attack weld. The weld had a good penetration. It melted through the sheet metal. Um, upper piece secured the same method with the tape and tack welded. some point later I saw that the sheet metal is warping and separating from that lap joint I'm working on so I had to come up with a solution for that and I just clamped it together with a C-clamp sorry my helmet got in the way so yeah I had to clamp it and then move the clamp a little bit at a time and clamp it more it turned out okay, not the best uh, welding job I did, but it'll do, it'll do just fine. And finish the weld with that. This cabinet is made of 26 or 27 gauge steel, which is less than half a millimeter thick. It was uh, pretty challenging and interesting to work with. After it's all welded, the best I could, uh, the storage cabinet stands sturdy, not nearly as much wobbling going on, nice, it's gonna work for many years to come. So thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe, and please do comment, I love comments, and good luck to you all.